Bamboo Lab has a brand new own AI feature. It's called Print Mon Maker. Craft your own fantasy creatures from 3D printing. And I just want to try it out. So AI models have been around since a while for 3D printing, but they weren't that great. I made a video on it. And I'm very interested in how the Bamboo Lab AI works. So let's try it out. Okay. So you can either generate from text or from image. So let's try something simple. Uh, let's say a cute dragon with big eyes sitting with spread out wings staring at the sky. Let's try this. The thing is, it will generate an image first. Okay, I would say that's cute. I mean, it's not that much of a dragon, but uh, yeah, I would like to see how this would be a print file. So this is the first step. It generates an image and then you can say uh, retry. So we can just do this to see what other models come up. I mean, that's also cute. I can't really decide which to choose. But the one problem I already see is that there are a lot of colors in here. I would say let's let's try this. And now in the second step it generates in a 3D model for Bamboo Studio. Yeah, it just takes a couple of minutes. Okay, so this is the 3D model. I mean, it's pretty good, I think. Let's see how it comes out as a print file. Ah, okay. Yeah, I will just try this now for 10 points. So there's a point system. We can have a look. So it looks like you can buy credits with uh, points from Maker World. I think that's fair. So this is the file. But what can I do with it? So in this Printmon uh, Studio, let's call it like that, uh, in the browser you can choose the colors you want, so the amount of colors you want. I think the most people will go for four colors because they have only one AMS. And um, we already see that the painting is a bit weird here. I wouldn't print it like this. But uh, yeah, you can reduce it to four, uh, four colors. And I think it looks pretty good. Although the painting is a bit weird. It seems like they know that uh, the generic eyes aren't the best. But they created this tool so you can change the eyes. I think that's pretty good. And there are some color options that I wouldn't uh, print like this. You see this darker blue is on some strange places, but they also suggest here to paint it in Bamboo Studio later. So I think uh, that are some uh, detailed problem. Let's just look at the STL and I think this looks pretty good. It's pretty smooth. And to be honest, I would uh, it would have taken me a lot of time to generate this like in Nomad Scarp. So I think uh, this is at least something I could work with. I would maybe load this into Nomad Scarp and change it a bit, but for me, for such a little figure, it looks great. Now I will have a look how it prints. So I just download it and let me know in the comments what you think about this. Okay, now they are exporting and they are again suggesting to use the paint tool. So I think they know that the 
painting of this tool is not very great. Okay, so here it is. I need the latest version of Bamboo Studio. I just downloaded it. So... Okay, it really takes a while to open. I'm waiting like three minutes or so. Okay, it looks like you just have to press close and now it loads. Let's see the results. I'm curious. Okay, now here it is. I mean, it's not bad. I would just uh, reduce the colors. I will just try this. Let's see if I remove the last one. It's from the eyes, I think. Okay, this is better. I don't need that dark blue, so I will delete this. Ah, okay, so the eyes are one color now. Okay, it seems obvious. But let's change this to some kind of blue. I mean, I would have to match uh, the colors I have. Let's maybe do that. Um, I have to choose my P1S. Here it is. Now I have my uh, filaments here. I will just go for black and white because I have them loaded. So let's see. White. Black. Deleting of the filament. So let's just... I will just do some repainting here. I uh, do a fast forward because I think it's very boring to see. I would just uh, yeah, paint in Bamboo Studio for the final touch. So go like you wanted. And I just try to make it a bit, uh, yeah, good looking. Final print fire I will try. I think it's pretty cute. And... Uh, yeah, I will make a short about this or uh, about the final results. So if you want to see it, just check my channel. Hope to see you soon. Print!